Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been recorded, so yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you see my face, my name is Alicia. Yeah, I don't know who I have, but my name's Ope. Yeah, that's what you're Say it louder! My name's Ope, that's it. My name's Ope. Yeah, we're going to be talking about our goals for 2023, how to create the vision boards, reflecting on 2022 a little bit. So that's the plan for today. Do you want to see my pictures? Or should yeah. I see yours first? Okay. But this is insinuating relationship. Is relationship on your vision? Child, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, grades, yes, amen, amen. Yes. Gonna take a flight. Yeah. Catch a flight, not Lock feelings. feelings. Yeah. Well, you really are in a relationship, okay? <laughs> soft lad, I'm a soft yes. lad face. So soft lad, 2023 and forever. I think I want to go in that pan. Oh, that, that's nice. Is that Kendall or Kylie? Kendall. 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 Yeah. Well, see, I need to be going to the gym. <laughs> I need to get in the gym. It's so to, hard. You don't really need to be gym buddies because I feel like that's the only yeah, way that's I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you mine. So I got some quotes. Yes, you can. I love some positive affirmations. I am smart. This is one of the oh, those ones cool. that I need to remind myself. Yeah. Because sometimes being at LSE, I just feel like I'm stupid. A new era of me. This is actually my phone. Oh, because we've got that. Oh, do you? Yeah, mine's a bit different. Yeah. Because so I, I, yeah. I feel like I'm, I feel refreshed. Like, I do actually genuinely feel refreshed for 2023. And I don't think I would, but I do. I feel like, especially coming back from Scotland as well, yeah. my little weekend trip, I feel. This is such a big one. If you want to be successful, be consistent. I, I'm so, I want to swim with dolphins this year when I'm in Jamaica. I want to do it on my birthday. Is that you? No, but it looks like yeah. everyone has said that. Thank you so I think much. I've got a green bikini as well. Everybody has said that. But um, anyways, let's just get into it. Oh yeah, so the way that you create a vision board, or the way that I did it, and I'll put it on the screen now, is I use Notion to set my goals. It's a brilliant like productivity app where you can actually sort of keep track of your progress with your goals throughout the year. So there's three sections on my notion like sort of goals board and one is like um, just the goals and then when it's in progress I can drag it over to the middle and then when it's actually completed I can put it um, at the end. And then you can also have a habit tracker where you make like little habits to you know sort of help you get to your bigger goals. Yeah. So like you know like with health and stuff like if you're going to the gym once a week like, and you're trying to or even like just start off for once a week and you're trying to build that into, hab into a good habit yeah. to help you get to your longer goal of gaining weight yeah. it's like breaking things down like that so that's how i did it and then once you've actually set your goals and what you kind of want your year to look like you can then go to pinterest and you can literally find some really really nice pictures on pinterest um <coughs> To do with your goal. What I did was I just put aesthetic after everything. Yeah, we're well, black girl, aesthetic black girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put um driving aesthetic, money, money aesthetic. Yeah. I think you need to, is it me? Oh no. Why do I want shaking? <laughs> we need to go to the gym. <laughs> I know it's, it's nice, oh, isn't it? Right. So, whilst we're just spreading this out, I'm just gonna ask you what are your goals for 2023? Um, so, like, what was your major goals when you're searching for these sort of images? So, if I was obviously to get closer to God, even though I say that every year, yeah, but this time I feel like I'm actually gonna do the work, read my Bible, listen to some music more, try to yeah. set the music a little bit. I still love activities. Um, yeah. That's probably my top goal because I feel that like everything else will just flow from that. Um, yeah, that's and then, cool. yeah, and then from next month, I need to get my license. I need to get my license. Yeah, you will. And I need to get a February, March, I need to be driving. Yeah. At this baby, y'all. So, Jim, I'm trying to gain weight. I've been saying that. I'm trying, I'm Have you? Gain. Did you gain weight in 2022? Yeah, that my, been yeah been. my base weight now is about like 60, 63. It used to be like 57. That's really good. So it's, it's more. Yeah, small even way. for me, even without just going to the gym, just by being fat and lazy and just yeah. 
I was 55 before I came to uni, mm -hmm. and I was quite concerned about that, to be honest, just for my own personal goals. Because you're at your height as well. Yeah, and I'm quite, quite tall as well. But now, when I checked the weight scale, I was like 62 slash 63. Oh, that's good. So I'm happy with that, because it's always hard to get over the 60 Yeah, exactly. Point. I feel like once you cross over that, it's just up from there. Yeah. But I just feel like my body now is agreeing to take a look at you that wants to put on the way. Hopefully it's interesting you know, I like when, when like, I don't know, I like talking about fitness goals because you realise that everyone actually has different goals. Because yeah. it's not everyone that wants to do cardio and lose weight. Yeah, exactly. We all have our different... Some of us are trying to gain weight. And that's hard as well. Yeah. Because even, yeah, it is. I don't like food that much, but... It is. Got to force myself to eat. Whatever goals. Probably that traveling will definitely Yeah. I'm going to Amsterdam next month. Oh yeah, that's Hopefully it. Hopefully I can go I go to Paris. I think I'm gonna go to Paris. Maybe Marrakesh. Maybe Cyprus as well, because I can nice place Cyprus. Yeah. I'm gonna be outside. And and also solo travels as well, which is really Yeah, cool. most of them are gonna be solo travel, I'm not gonna lie. Really cool. Yeah, next month one is solo travel. Um and hopefully skiing. I wanna go Lapland. I'll I'll, I'll do that one. Yeah, because I, I think I'm gonna do, do it. Want to ski. Like, yeah, I have to ski. Like, We're thinking early next year though. You know Hanyo was wearing Natty? Yeah. He does lessons Is to it? be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them private it's school kids. Quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> love a love a ski trip. Love a ski trip. So we're gonna join them. Trying to elevate. Yeah, words. To the next social class. <laughs> yeah, words. And also like career goals as well. So yeah, I do. I'm a law student, so hopefully I'm trying to like get a vacation scheme and then transform that into a training contract. You will. At a serious, serious law firm. So I can yeah. earn serious, serious piece because what's I started in salary? Yeah. Upper class. And how are you finding? How you, so you're applying to internships now as well as in the law? Yeah, vacation scheme, and then most. Firms, oh, is that what's called? For you yeah, like most firms only hire or give you a training contract if you do a vacation scheme. So yeah, it's really important, isn't it? I need to actually get. Onto That's one of those things that you're not that no one tells you really before you go to university. I didn't realise that it's not actually just your degree. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's work experience is so important. Well, obviously, yeah. whilst you're at a, in your A levels and GCSEs. No one cares if you've got work experience or not, really. Yeah, exactly. Like it can be a bit of a bonus, but it's not. It's not necessary. Whereas at uni, I feel like, you know, if you just have your degree and you have no internships, it's going to be very hard to get a good job. I think it's a little bit easier for us because we go to NSC, so the name itself. Yeah, that's true. And if you get like, if that. you get a T one or first class, then that's going to like make you stand up for the rest. But yeah, experience, yeah. actually the proper experience. Yeah, and it didn't tell us that, but I feel like my part-time job was actually hard. Even if just fi not even thinking about or oh, getting hired, like even if you're thinking about, like with me, I've been trying to explore different sectors, and work experience allows you to do that. True. Because you don't want to start a job and then absolutely hate it. Do you know what I mean? Like you can sort of kind of feel if you're going to be interested in it through internships and spring weeks. I feel like I'm just going to take that risk. I'm going to become a commercial, whether I like it or not. That's my what commercial? Yeah. I think one of the major things for me, like in terms of traveling and, and experiencing things, is that I want to say yes to more things. I don't want to be sort yeah. of restricting myself because I do really, really like to save, and that's a good thing because I'm saving for like towards like investments and <clears throat> like I do want to get a property. But you're still young. Exactly. And money's gonna come back. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not like I want to blow my entire savings. Exactly. But I do want to travel more and say yes to more things Me because too. the thing is, when you actually look into career, like your actual career. Mm. Hanyu, can you help me with this? Because I'm actually just taking too long to open it up. Yeah, so I want to say yes to more things because when you're in your job, you get like 24 to 28 days annual leave and that's it. Yeah, like, I feel like calculated how many working days that is. If you say the weekends. Up. And also, it's like we're all going to be so busy at that time. Like, we're yeah. like busy now, but like before you know it, like serious relationships, um, work, children, children, work. Yeah. Like, let's not meet any time to do anything. different so hours, time, yeah, different exactly. hours. Because, like, for example, in consulting, which is what I want to do, that's like 12 hour working day, or like, from like nine, like 10 hour, 10 to 12 hour working day. Like, law, it could be, it could be all taught, it can really alter, yeah. yeah. So, it's different. And then, like, investment banking for annual, that's just like 24 hours a day, <laughs> and you're going to be tired at the end of it. The weekend yeah. comes, you're tired, and the next thing you know, it's Monday again. So it's actually time to experience everything so yeah i'm definitely up for trying to experience yeah me too that's why like there's this thing called um camp bali or camp thailand i'll send it to you actually okay. um next year i'm looking to do it and i think was what is it like too. camping i'm not no 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 oh. it's not <laughs> i'm not into that no it's a summer camp so basically it's 30 days yeah. in bali or thailand you can oh, pick. Bali's a 
yeah i want to do the body one and each day is like planned out something different for you to do so you can really experience a country so like the first day might be or oh, going to visit elephants yeah. the next day might be swimming with dolphins oh, but then the next day might be you know volunteering children and like helping them with their english so yeah. like it really varies from day to day oh. so i really want to do that but that's next year that's not the just okay, year. Yeah. but that's yeah so i want to travel more another major thing for me is that i want to read more because yeah. and when i say read more i mean read more for pleasure because there was a point during lockdown that year i read like i think 45 books i read a lot in lockdown that's all i did to get me through it and they were not like school books like they were just generally books that i found interesting another thing license i want to get my license this year yes. as well that's on my thing for the end of this year and i want to grow my youtube so if you're watching it subscribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe. Right. Comment, subscribe. literally go to the tiktok go to the instagram everything. yeah literally i'm even starting to use tiktok now as well so i'll put that in the description box but yeah i really want to grow um as much as i can i'm not going to say a specific number on here just be just, just be just, just be just be it's actually free just be tapping the button exactly <laughs> and you need this exactly your hand. yes <laughs> i want to take care of my skin more i really want to i think i'm actually going to go to the gp to talk about getting um mm -hmm. acne tablets then i'm going to talk to the gp go to now and be like get me to a dermatologist yeah i speak to a dermatologist because the, the thing is yeah and let's even just talk about it because acne is one of those things that we all experience but like we all try to hide like some people makeup are blessed. and yeah wow. some, some people can sleep with makeup on and wake up with like, perfect skin that could never be me if I go to sleep with makeup on, I'm gonna wake up with five new spots. Oh, will you? Literally, I'll see it coming. I feel like yeah, I can feel it on my skin. I can like, feel it. Yeah, the pores are just clogging up. Oh yeah, another thing for me is that I want to start giving more public speeches. Oh, that's why I got that one. Because you know, like, or how I've been doing them at school. So yeah. I want to really do that more and just sort of be able to help people. Because I swear to God, like, whenever I get a message that says, "Oh, like this has helped me," like even if it's just one person, it just like yes, it's all lot. Yeah. Um, Happier. What was the things that you were most proud of in 2022? Probably like going on holiday. Yeah, because so we went. That was the first time we ever travelled around. Right? Yeah, I went to Mallorca, Mallorca, and then I went on a solo travel trip. Yeah. Like, so you fully actually went on your own as well. Yeah. How about you? Uh. I think one of the major things is travelling as well, especially because. Like, I never actually went on holiday before last year, a proper one. Yeah, exactly. I had gone to Jamaica, but it had been for a funeral. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say that that was a holiday mm -hmm. as such. Like, my family is not one of those families where we do like two family holidays a year. Yeah, so. But like, I know it's the same for you as well. So the fact that I could actually fly out three times last year mm -hmm. was really like good. And I yeah, actually. Painful, yeah. And a lot of the time I did it for free as well. I think two out of three times was for free with um, at university and just like programs that I had found, which I have videos about on my channel as well if you're interested. But it's just like, I don't know, it was just different. But then, what else, what else was on this kind of last year? I think I actually started my YouTube channel as well. Because hey, yeah. I can't believe it. That was uh, seven months ago, you know? Oh, wow. I know, right? I think even just completing a professional uni is an accomplishment. It is, it really it's is. It's actually passive. It really is. I just feel like I grew a lot last year in terms of like, and I feel like it's the same with you, like going to concerts on my own, oh, traveling yeah. on my own. But yeah, I'll, oh yeah, going friends. to concerts. I went to so many concerts. Yeah, you went to a lot. Like even, you don't deep it, but that's actually part of growth as a person. It's like, true. Experiencing new things. things yeah. Um, we completed first years as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I completed first year with a 2 1, so I was proud of that as well. I'm happy with everyone that's in my life right now as well. Mm. I haven't got any like bad, toxic <laughs> energy in my life no, right now, yeah. which I'm happy about too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I want to try something new outside of education. I just don't know what. The hustle. Hmm? The side hustle. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe social media, I don't know, mm. but at the same time, I'll like, just keep coming on my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like posting on social media is like just so scary. It is so it's scary, scary though. Like, and I feel like I'm a delusional person because I'll be like, I'll post a video and I'll be like, it's gonna blow and I'll go to sleep. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, because I have videos. I'm just like, why didn't this bad? Oh, like, like, my nasty. favorite video on my channel is yeah. one of the most low viewed ones, that's what and that's saying. Italy Part Two. And it's because yeah, Part One did well, Part Two didn't, and it's that Part Two was my favorite. It's one of my favorite videos. But I think it's just it's sometimes hard to convey the fun that you're having. True. Or like if it's not as valuable for other people. people well. Whereas for me, when I watch, I have so many memories. Like Actually, yeah. the people that I met there. Um, turned out to end up being amongst my best friends. I love that picture. That nice really nice skin. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I have regrets that I didn't start it earlier. Well, you too. Yeah, because I wish I did it in sixth form. Yeah. Imagine being like, oh, because it's only school, how, sixth form yeah. with me. That's true. But like, I feel like everyone was so judgy there, and everyone is so judgy at secondary school that you don't. Do you think some do of the it? things that they're doing in private school are a bit like weird? <laughs> some of the things they're judging. But like I feel like you just have to take that risk and come out of your comfort zone because you won't regret it. Like if you genuinely want to do something, just do it. And I feel like the thing is when you're doing something that's positive impact, there's a lot less judgment there. I want to get an award this year too. I'm trying to be like Sabrina yeah. and Mary Grace. And that's what I like about LSE, you know. I don't feel like that's at every uni, you know. What I think it's rare. Like? The thing where there's just so many people that are just Doing, doing sick things that are not related to their degree. Yeah. It's, it's like a real like side hustle culture. Like, you think we were a business school in here? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's better to make vision boards like a year by year or like to have one big general one? That with like, you know, like a house in it and a car and everything. Mm. I think it depends how close you are to the goal. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I feel like certain smaller goals that you can achieve in typical just make you feel a bit better as well. I feel like it makes it more realistic. Yeah, as well. Because imagine you're having a rubbish day and you look at your vision board and it's just like. And you're just thinking, oh, just box Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what would be nice? If in a year we're doing a video where we're looking back at this and seeing yeah, we should how much stuff we did, let's do that. That'd be sick. Yeah. some other ones will pop up and then this is my corporate babe lifestyle with yeah. babes 
I am smart, that's an affirmation, I just keep telling myself I'm not stupid. There's a YouTube plaque here, obviously that's not for 2023, but it just symbolises that I want to keep pushing my YouTube content. Read, read it more for pleasure, like read it with some nice views, that would be nice. And then, what's this one? Oh yeah, working hard at uni. I want to go to the rooftop cinema club, get my license, do some form of exercise please, Alicia. <laughs> like yoga or something. And then just being more consistent, taking care of my skin, my health, drinking water. Yeah. And that's me. The last thing to And we're gonna what we're gonna do is we decided we're gonna do this video again this time next year and reflect and see if we've actually achieved this. Yeah. That would be really interesting. And see what we can take for. Yeah, and what we wish we did differently for the year. Yeah. Well thank you so much for coming on, Orfe. This is a long one but a good one. Yeah. I love them. Oh my god. Guys, follow off his Instagram. Don't follow me, I'm not putting my Instagram. Don't follow my Instagram. It's not my Instagram. Do that. I'm not there. Alright, thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe if you like. found this helpful or fun. And comment if you want to see more videos with off And comment what your goals are for 2023. Yes, actually do that. Yeah, yeah comment what your goals are for 2023. Alright. Anyway, guys. Anyway.